the 19th, 2020. I'd like to thank you all for taking your time watching this video and also for joining me in our laughter session. Thank you very much. I also would like to give a big shout out to Steve Essex. He has many friends here in the YouTube, but if you don't know him yet, <laughs> take a look of his creations. He is the one who created the intro and the endro for my um, channel and also the musics, which are so beautiful. And uh, so uh, check his uh, channel on the link below. I also put a page for him in my blog. If you didn't uh, visit my blog yet, the URL of my blog is 1q72.com. I will be very honored to have you visiting me. Thank you very much. Today, oh, before starting for today, um, I'd like to ask you if you gave a chance to think about and consider uh, doing your own uh, commercial of uh, what you want to manifest in your life. I really think that uh, it's going to be with incredible results and uh, I am so hoping that you will give it a shot and try it because our brain it's so flexible and we can put any kind of belief and program and that only can change everything you know that uh, uh, Dr. George Dispenza on uh, that book that I mentioned yesterday uh, Becoming Supernatural he mentioned a case of a man that was diagnosed with something and uh, he was told by his doctor that uh, he would not live much more uh, and then he said oh doctor may I just go through that uh, uh, Christmas because it is very important for me to have the Christmas with my family and uh, I, I would love to have the Christmas time the last Christmas with my family and the doctor said well it is up to you but uh, you don't have much time so this man he uh, were doing all the recommendations that the doctor gave to him taking all the medications and everything and uh, but he was willing to go for the Christmas so he was giving that extra more extra more every single day to go through the Christmas which was I think six months ahead and then he got the Christmas and then the day after the Christmas he moved on and the doctor uh, they always do that uh, check what was the cause of the death and the doctor said that is so strange he was in a perfect condition there was nothing that could possibly kill him now isn't that something <laughs> that tells a lot about our brain what we believe and how our body react to what we believe so whatever it is that you are believing because it is so difficult to change our beliefs i'm just giving you an idea for a fun project to do and start doing that you, ju you just do one video and then you keep watching it every day and then uh, I did one video last night <laughs> but I didn't like it <laughs> I am gonna redo it I can do as many as I want many times that I want <laughs> because it was too long and um, uh, I didn't put the song and uh, I don't know yet how to do the song uh, but uh, I will 
figure it out and uh, it will be a good video that I will watch every day at least three times a day because there are things that I want to manifest in my life do you think you deserve it? I do hope so you do <laughs> you do you do deserve all the goodness all the love there are so many people that love you remember that do not give up on yourself. There are many, many people that you still have to touch lives of. So, just uh, be the best version of yourself. <laughs> okay, today's topic. Today's topic is words. There is a lady uh, that was interviewed, uh, a Japanese lady. She was born in a uh, tribe, a Japanese tribe that was, uh, uh, how do you say it, uh, separated, isolated. And uh, she was not educated and she couldn't read or write until her 50s. And uh, uh, she was living in the main uh, island of Japan and she was taking public transportation, a train to go to work every single day. And uh, she could see many uh, writings or many designs or things on the wall, on that bench, but uh, she couldn't, she didn't know what uh, they mean. When she finally learn how to read and write she was so disappointed because she was always wondering what does it say there on that wall or in this bench that someone took a uh, knife and a utility knife and just wrote something there she was disappointed because she couldn't understand the mind of a person that could use those beautiful letters and beautiful words that could transform into beautiful words and misuse the letters and write something that it was very disrespectful very uh, sad and uh, that touched me so deeply only then i uh, realized how entitled i am and spoiled i am for write and uh, talk and uh, create uh, things with words and uh, not realizing how powerful and how beautiful they are. There is this uh, scientist, a Japanese, again, <laughs> scientist. His name is uh, Emoto, his last name. I think it is Masato Emoto, but his last name is Emoto. And uh, he did uh, research with water and uh, he froze the water and uh, took picture using a huge uh, very powerful microscope to take a picture of uh, the uh, snowflakes and he did an experiment using the same water and divide the water into few samples and few containers and uh, he wrote in a piece of paper for each uh, sample he put a word for those samples so for one sample he elected love another one peace gratitude um, success um, and then another selection category of words like uh, hatred war uh, disgusting stupid and then he froze it then he took picture of that uh, crystal that would be formed and the images that i saw 
in that uh, article. I was so amazed. Just a word written and labeled in that thing would change everything. All the good words, positive words, the crystal were beautiful, colorful, and complete. The bad words, the negative words, the crystal were crooked, they were uneven, and they were incomplete. How can that be? How can that make a, such a huge difference in the water? We are 80% made of water, the same as the percentage of the planet Earth. And uh, if we can change the formation of a crystal with a word that is written, can you imagine what it can be with emotion put in that word that is verbalized and thought? You can do amazing things with a single word. Like a saying, I think it is an Arabic saying, a word can kill or can save a soul. And that is a true thing. You can do so much good with the words that you select and use on your daily basis. So, today my thought is to pick and be wiser to select the words that are going to be your companion during your day today and tomorrow and the rest of your life. Pick it wisely because they will make huge difference in your own life. So this is the thought and uh, shall we start our session now? hope you all have a beautiful day full of blessings and joy and uh, with many many uh, positive energy coming back to you <laughs> whatever you spread and share will be returning to you. So, I hope that you have all the best coming back to you. <laughs> oh, and remember, today is the best day of your life. Make sure that you have tons of fun. <laughs> Thank you again, and I see you tomorrow. Bye now! <laughs>